The ambulances come and go all day long at Derriford Hospital. Barely a day goes by without another stat about lengthy waiting times or crowded corridors. 97% of the beds here are occupied, a figure which has prompted the Trust to declare a critical incident. To kind of put it in simple terms, if we are very full, people who are arriving at the front door who need to come into the organisation don't easily move into the hospital and then out. And so when we're 97% full, bringing yet more people in, and we on average bring in probably up to 100 patients a day, that becomes really difficult. At present, there are 56 COVID patients spread across three dedicated wards. Six of them are in intensive care. Most of them are unvaccinated. Meanwhile, the hospital must keep running throughout the peak summer tourist season. What was interesting in the first and second wave was that we switched off services to enable us to be able to deal with the COVID epidemic as it was. That position has changed now because we also recognise that it's so important to continue to deliver care to patients who have other conditions. Uh, and I think it's that balance uh, of the pressures that is really putting us under uh, increased pressure above and beyond which we've experienced before. Waiting times in the emergency department continue to rise. Today, the longest wait was more than 12 hours. Another issue is that the hospital currently has around 100 patients who are medically fit enough to leave, but they cannot be discharged to a stretched social care system. Across Devon as a whole, the situation is just as tough. Yesterday, 127 of the county's hospital beds were occupied by COVID patients. 14 of those were in intensive care. 713 staff were off work due to COVID, that accounts for 32% of all absences. Tony Gravett from the local Health Watch group, which represents patients' views, says the situation is becoming unsustainable. We have seen this in previous years um, with periods where the hospitals have been put under pressure. But I think this feels more unprecedented and it's almost like it's winter every day. Derriford bosses say they're proud of how their staff are coping and insist they are ready for whatever happens next. Sam Blackledge, ITV News in Plymouth.